When a Coweta County deputy fire chief walked away with an extra million dollars in his early retirement pension, it seemed like a done deal, and it was. But after our Fox 5 I team examined the deal, a group of Coweta citizens said enough is enough. Senior I team reporter Dale Russell says they've now filed a lawsuit trying to undo what was done. Yeah, it looks like this fight is not over yet, Sine. The controversial pension involved an extra million dollar boost to then Deputy Fire Chief Todd Moore's early retirement. Well, after the Fox 5 I team and the Newton Times Herald examined the issue, a group of citizens filed a lawsuit saying the vote violated Georgia's sunshine laws. What's happened in this case is a real breach of public trust. State Senator Josh McCoon says a group of Coweta County taxpayers want to undo what they think is an unfair county commission vote. These are taxpayers who are fed up with a government that's trying to conduct business behind the scenes and behind closed doors. The controversy revolves around the Coweta County Fire Department. Earlier this year, an internal investigation found Chief Johnny Teeters and Deputy Chief Todd Moore intimidated and harassed a young firefighter they had just disciplined. Did that investigation have anything to do with the chief leaving? Yes. County Administrator Michael Fouts says one month after the report came out, the chief retired. All those in favor, please say aye. Uh, and county commissioners voted to abolish Todd Moore's position of deputy chief. Could he have stayed on with the fire department? Yes. He, he, he could have been gainfully employed, worked, done something different sure. other than be deputy chief. That's correct. Then the very same commission also voted to sweeten 49-year-old Todd Moore's retirement, giving him credit for an extra 11 years of service and an immediate pension. The Golden Parachute provided a sweet landing. It increased Deputy Chief Moore's pension from $39,000 to $64,000 a year, and he got it immediately rather than having to wait 16 years. Total extra cost to taxpayers? one million dollars i don't think the entire situation is a good deal for the taxpayers one of those voting for the pension was chairman tim lassiter a close friend of todd moore had there been a conflict or had they told me that there was a conflict i would have never voted now a group of coweta county citizens have filed a lawsuit seeking to throw the vote out claiming the commission violated georgia sunshine laws the damage is to trust in government Senator McCoon represents the three taxpayers in this suit. His lawsuit contends Coweta commissioners had been working on the retirement, but intentionally left it off the agenda so the public wouldn't know Todd Moore's pension was about to be voted on. McCoon says that violates the state's Open Meetings Act. The plaintiffs want to throw out the vote and force the commission to do it again, this time in the bright, shining light of the state's sunshine laws. If the commissioners want to commit $1.2 million of tax money, they have the authority to do it, but they've got to stand and face the music and hear from the public before they do so. Now, when we first reached out to Coweta commissioners for comment, no one had heard about the lawsuit. County Administrator Michael Faust said he can't comment on any pending legal action anyway. I reached Todd Moore by phone, and he told me he has a confidentiality agreement with the county. He plans to follow it. And he had no comment. So, obviously, now into the court system. Obviously, you would hope that it would stay the same. It makes you wonder whether the commissioners would approve this if they had to do it in the bright open sunshine. Well, that's the senator's argument. Is that they, he doesn't think this would have ever passed if the public had known about it, yeah. they'd been able to come in and make, make comments to the commissioners. So, if they're successful in this, it'll have to be voted on again. As he said, they have a right to do the pension deal. He just wants them to do it in the public. All right. We'll keep following it. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Dale. Well, I After being number one for 13 years, our only competition is ourselves. The Bold Camry. We redesigned a car that was already number one.